I think what was revolutionary, you know, coming from a film background, literally shooting film, was the digital revolution. And the camera that was introduced, I think, that's still relevant today is the Canon Mark II, originally, I remember I had. Now they have the Mark III DSLR. Um, it's completely mobile. The mobility is, is, is amazing. And with a lens like a 2470, which is a workhorse lens, um, you could pretty much spend the entire day with that lens. So you can go tight, wide, long, however. The great thing about this camera also is that um, it's affordable. I mean, you know, the body's affordable, the lens is affordable, and it's a professional camera. Um, it shoots great quality HD video. Um, we prefer on this end, if you're using this, is a 24P 1080. Um, if you're in other parts of the world and you shoot PAL 25P, that's just as good and sometimes even better. Um, so 25P, 24P, progressive frame rate is what we're looking for. Uh, shoots a beautiful image. It's a full sensor, 35 sensor. I think there's also something that you should also think about when you're, when you're going to shoot and choosing a camera. This is suitable for most things. Um, it does not shoot high speed. It doesn't shoot slow motion. If you're planning a shoot, whether it be a sport shoot, whether it be something where you're going to need slow motion or you're going to want a slow motion shot, um, there's other cameras on the market like the GH4 that will give you 4K resolution um, in slow motion. So if you're going to need slow motion, um, there are other DSLRs on the market that will give that to you for a reasonable price. Also think if you're not going to purchase, there's great rental opportunities. So for a couple hundred dollars, if not less, you can rent the same camera for a day. If you rent it on a Friday, that means you get to keep it all weekend. So that's another thing to think about. Um, but for my purposes, um, this camera suits me fine.